I just found this out just today, right after I played some Forza. Just right after I played Forza Horizon. Um, I was gonna get on Forza Horizon 2. And um, before that, I went to my Facebook and um, taking a look at the um, news feed. And then I also got some notifications with the Tracks of Slash community. Um, and then all of a sudden, while I was scrolling through the news feed, I saw a post that my dad put up on Facebook. And it said that Chester Bennington of Lincoln Park um, died at 41. And I was like, are you, is this true? Or are you kidding? Or is this something that, that you're playing games with me? So I looked in the, under the comments below and um, they were saying this in Tagalog, which is the language that people in the Philippines say. Um, I don't really speak the language, but I know what they're basically saying. One of the comments, one of the, um, one of my dad's friends was saying in Tagalog, like, uh, is, is this is this true? Like, is, are you lying or are you are you BSing here or something like that? Are you are you giving out something that you just is this, is this some kind of clickbait or something? And my dad replied, No, it is true. So I thought to myself, I was I thought he was uh, lying as well. You know, I felt the same way. So I went to Google and checked out checked out the information, and um, I also see a little snippet of of a of a Wikipedia para uh, paragraph on Wikipedia that said Chris uh, no Chester Bennington was an American singer. And so I heard was it's not is anymore, and. Um, I also looked at TMZ, the TMZ website, and my oh my, these they my dad wasn't lying. In fact, nobody weren't lying. I thought at first everybody was lying about him dead, but I did further research on it. So I read, I read more information on the, I read more information on the, on the article, and um, they said that uh, Chester Bennington uh, was found, they found his body by an, an employee, actually let's put it this way, an employer, an employee found his body at 9 a.m. just today at 9 a.m. Uh, in a private residence, residential area or whatever, probably like a house or something in Palos Verdes, California, which is somewhere in the Southern California area. I have never been there, but uh, they say California. It's probably somewhere around there. I'm currently in Northern California at the moment. San Francisco area, to be specific. So, anyways, um, I did. I read fur. I, I read furthermore, and they said that Chester Bennington had like a history of battling drugs and alcohol, and um, recently a good old friend of him, like a really deep close friend. Chris Cornell of Soundgarden, who died um, just last month. That I know. And um, he also was molested by by a, by a male, like some man, when he was just a kid. I don't know what age. They didn't say what age he was, but um, if you guys know, just put it in the comments below. Um, but... Um, if uh, if you guys can find out an age, you know, what he, how old he, he was, or something, um, just let me know. He he was probably I I guess around it's probably around ten years or somewhere around his teenage years. Um, so so he had a really hard life, um, especially up uh, from then till now, when he died, and he and he he also had a. He also had this feeling of he wanted to like, you know, but he didn't like he didn't shoot himself. He you know I they said that he hung himself. So um, I'm sorry for all you Lincoln Park fans out there. I'm sorry. I'm sorry that this happens to your one of your favorite idols, and your favorite singers, but um, you know. It happens. You know, a lot of Nirvana fans uh, felt really sad with Kurt Cobain dying. You know, but 
some of these things happen. Um, sometimes life is harsh. Sometimes it's good, but most of the time it's really challenging. And, um, so, um, what I'm trying to say here, guys, uh, don't be the way, don't be like the people like Kurt Cobain and Chester Bennington. Just don't be like those guys. Um, I mean, they're really great singers. They're great musicians. I, I know that, all right? But just don't be the way who they are off stage. Because sometimes what you see on stage doesn't really mean anything. Because what really means more is the person themselves. It's Chester Bennington, Kurt Cobain, Chris Cornell. It's all in their own. It's what's inside of them, all right? A lot of people who think that, ooh, this guy is ugly or this guy is whatever, they should kill themselves or something like that. That, those people, the bullies, that's what they see from the outside. They don't know who they really are, okay? They don't really know who they are. All they, don't, all they just know is what they see outside. It's like Ferrari. They always see what's, they always uh, like judge it like, oh, your car looks good. Just by the outside looks of it. You know, it looks cool. I'll give you that. But they don't even know what's inside. They don't even know how much horsepower the thing is. That's the same thing that I'm trying to say with Chester Bennington and Kurt Cobain. The bullies or the people who think that these guys are like just nothing or they're just like any other person, who, any other famous person, you don't know that. All right? But now you guys know, think about it, man. Just think about it. Just think about it, people. I don't know what to say. So, um, I am done with this video. I'm not going to be posting any videos right now on Tractor Driver 31 and FHRC Brony. But if you guys want to take a look at some of the, my, uh, my older videos, feel free to do that. Um, if you guys are watching this on FHRC, feel free to subscribe. And do the same thing if you're also watching this on Tractor Driver 31. And um, that is all for now. Um, I'll talk to you guys again soon. And once again, rest in peace, Chester Bennington. You will be missed. But your music will always live on.